Hi friends, this playlist that you have here is based on the instructor led series of live sessions that we conducted. And this is like a day long series of live sessions approximately of seven hours on the 28th of November. And what we have done is we have taken these series of live sessions, broken them into short videos and placed them in this playlist so that learners and participants can watch them even after the session is over. In case somebody could not participate, they could also watch it later. Again, this series of live sessions are all about statistical testing and experiments. Now, the prerequisites for this whole series of uh, live sessions and hence the playlist would be basic knowledge of probability like probability density functions, basic distributions, histograms, basic concepts that you probably learnt in your 11th and 12th class or your undergraduate studies in the very early years of your undergraduate study. Also, we expect you to have basic knowledge of Python programming so that you can understand some of the code and simulations that we do in this series of live sessions. Again, this playlist, please make, please understand that it is not a copy paste of the whole live session. We have taken the seven hour long series of live sessions, cut them into respective shorter videos and placed them in a specific order so that it's easy for everyone to go through the playlist, not like a lengthy video, but shorter videos anywhere ranging from five minutes to 20 minutes. Again, the notes and the code snippets. Again, we'll share a PDF. I think it's about 100 pages long. And this PDF has all the notes. And within the PDF itself, you'll also have links to the code, right? basically IPython notebooks on Google Colab. Again, we will provide the notes and the code, the link to the whole PDF and the code in the description box below. So, so that you can use it, right? Again, in this playlist, what we have covered, again, also in the live session, what we have covered are these topics. We first introduce what is A-B testing in the context of real world. We take problems from actual A-B tests conducted at companies like Netflix. And we explain what is an A-B test, why it is done, what is the business impact and why to do it in the first place. Then we describe about permutation testing as a very simple way of conducting an actual A-B test. Right. And permutation testing is a very simple to understand, quite powerful non-parametric technique. So we explain permutation testing in lots of nitty gritty details. Then we go on and explain you the terminology of hypothesis testing and how that connects to the concepts that we learned in permutation resampling test. We also talk about why hypothesis testing is still very important by showing the A-B testing platform that was built at Uber and how it uses multiple types of hypothesis tests in the real world. Now, again, after, after we understand the basics of hypothesis testing and permutation testing, we walk you through the code on how you can implement permutation resampling test from scratch. And we do a ton of simulations to understand where the test works, where does it fail? How, how can you measure the power of these tests using simulations? Then we go on to a slightly more advanced technique called the Man Whitney U test. Very, very popular test in the real world used extensively across many, many companies, including Uber. So we discuss that. We also write simple code for Man Whitney U test. We discuss about pros and cons of Man Whitney, where to use it, where you can't use it, compare and contrast it with the permutation testing. Then we describe about the problem of multiple testing in A-B tests and what are some simple resolutions to avoid the problems and to avoid some of the erroneous conclusions that you might arrive at using A-B testing. We will also talk about the misuse of A-B testing in some situations, especially in research community, social sciences and medical research. Then we talk about how we can avoid A-B tests and what alternatives we have for A-B tests, like we discuss about bootstrapping, computing confidence intervals as a measure instead of just using hypothesis testing, standard AB or hypothesis testing or randomized control trials. Then we discuss how confidence intervals are used in medical research today by taking a research paper, very recent research paper about how this drug called Remdivisir helps in COVID treatment. So we actually take the medical research paper, look at how confidence intervals and hypothesis tests are actually used in the analysis of this drug called Remdivisir for COVID-19 treatment and how effective it is, how well it works, where does it work, where does it not work and things like that. Then we briefly discuss about a very interesting state-of-the-art technique called the multi-arm bandits. 
which is a variation of A-B tests. We talk about explore exploit strategies, epsilon greedy strategy. We briefly cover some of the variations of multi-arm bandits and then we close this whole session. Again, I understand that there are some topics that we could not cover in this session because of constraints of time. In a future live session, we could do a live session on covering basic tests like the T test, Z test or the Z test the chi-square test, etc. We'll probably cover them in a future session because we could not accommodate everything in one session. Similarly, we would like to conduct future live sessions on diving deep into multi-arm bandits because that's a beautiful strategy used in many, many large internet companies and also in tons of types of actual research. So we will discuss about multi-arm bandits in one of the future sessions. It will not be there in this playlist. While we give a brief introduction to this in this playlist, we do not dive too deep into it. Okay. So this whole live session, since it's a very interactive instructor led series of live sessions, you'll also encounter a lot of polls that we conducted with students on asking what would they prefer? Would they want me to go fast, slow? Do they know some concept? Do you want me to cover some concept? So you'll encounter some of those interactive polls. You'll also have in some videos actual discussions with students. When somebody raises a hand, we hand over the mic to them and we have some interesting Q&A discussions with the participants. We also have short quiz like questions that we ask students and ask them to think about the solution. So while you're watching this videos in the playlist, whenever there is a quiz question, pause the video, try to answer that question yourself before you check out the rest of the video again, so that you can experience that interactivity a little. Again, this whole series of live sessions or seven hours worth of live sessions, we are processing them. We are adding these videos to this playlist on daily basis. So just give us a few days. And we'll add everything to this series of playlists or we'll add everything from the series of live sessions to this playlist itself. We hope you enjoy these uh, videos in the playlist and happy learning. We hope that this will inspire you to dive more into A-B testing, hypothesis testing, statistical testing in general and experiments. Please understand that this series is only an introductory session where we covered only a few techniques where we assumed very basic knowledge of probability and programming. This is a good basic introduction. We hope this will encourage you to learn more about hypothesis testing in general. So thank you very much.